Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We will be checking out Black Ops 6 multiplayer on the day one experience here on the PC. Currently running on a 4080 Super i7 12700K and 32 gig of RAM for anyone that's interested. My name's Jason, also known as Fox. And yeah, we're going to be checking out and deep diving into the day one experience for Black Ops 6. We are going to be playing on a DualSense PS5 controller. We're going to be rocking 3-3. Uh, three, three. We're also going to be... Hmm, let's have a look here. We're going to be making sure that everything's set how I want it. So we're going to be doing uh, dead zones of about five. Which is usually around where I, where I like to keep them personally. Uh, for my triggers and my sticks. Um, aim wise, we're going to do looking version inverted. Uh, transitioning, we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to try gradual this year, actually. Aim response curve, we're going to be going with standard. And interesting, there doesn't appear to be any aim assist options, just target aim assist on or off. Motion sensor behavior, we're also going to have off. Sprint assist, we're going to have tactical sprint assist. Zero delay sideways and backwards mantle assist uh we're gonna have that on as well crouch assist crouch slide manually with change stance button on crouch assist we'll activate when walking or sprinting forward toward valid opening oh don't know what that is simulates corner slice by slightly inclining your weapon to camera on a corner is nearby corner slice not affect your aim uh, we'll leave that on for now we'll do tap to slide uh, we want a short delay, auto door peak on, automatic uh, born mantle on, sprint restore on, slide maintain sprint on, free fall always, we want the parachute on, mantle cancels reload on. Uh, let's have a look here. Inventory control. Ping wheel. Um, there is supposed to be... New interface options also. Uh, we're just going to turn these off so we don't get distracted. Hip introduction movie. Tutorials off. Gameplay tips off. Menu prompts. We're also gonna be going for doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll make myself purple, team blue. Go for the darker colours here. And gameplay HUD, HUD presets. So we've got standard, inverted, classic. Okay, mission interface. Scout, target tracker. Ooh, I kind of like that one, actually. We've got essential redacted. I'm not seeing the streamer one. We want the minimap round, compass type, minimap. Uh, back in, on or off. Uh, we'll put this up to 125 if we can. Icon scale up to 125. And we're going to go for... You know what? I kind of like this scout, uh, sort of this target tracker. Give it a go, actually.
We are about to jump in to our first match here. And we're going to agree to the codes of conduct and acknowledge court mode selection. We are going to be disabling all these for now. We just want to try a little bit of a team deathmatch <clears throat> for our first game. Time to check out exactly what this game has to offer. Wasn't the biggest fan of the beta, but I did have quite a few issues with it. But we've got everything maxed out here. Native 1440p. Like I said, running on PC. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. We're on Red Card Avalon. And uh, we're going to be seeing exactly what this is like on the day one experience. Hopefully, things are going to go very smoothly. We're going to try the XM4 out here. I've got to say, straight off the bat, it already feels better. It already feels better than the beta. Uh, okay, we're not on tactical. Uh, we need to sort that out. Uh, controller. Tactical. Okay. I've got to say, the movement, uh, the pacing and everything already feels... Already feels far superior to what we had on the beta, actually. A lot smoother. Um, I don't know currently how many FPS I'm getting, but we will be doing a separate video on the benchmark. The movement feels a lot better than it did on the beta. I'm going to lie. Uh, why does the map feel so empty? Oh, damn, I'm bad. What gun is he using? The XM4. Also, a few more attachments than myself. We should have probably... Stimmed there, I think, maybe. I can hear firing over here. But it's kind of outside the map. Like, what the hell? Well, the 3D audio is screwed or I'm hearing things. It just seemed like there's a sort of battle going on outside the map. The lead. It's really throwing me off, actually. I have no idea where I'm going here. We're winning. Keep it that way. We'll run towards my teammates here and hopefully. I've just had somebody reload there. Which way are the enemies? I legit can't find anybody. So I got an elimination there. I don't even recall shooting someone. I don't know why I'm getting points for those, but uh, nonetheless, best match. You're falling behind, Crimson. I mean, I don't quite understand how that's not a kill. Um, interesting. Like I literally can't find anybody on this map. This map is actually awful. Um, Eyes on enemy. Target appears hostile. Appears nice, nice, nice. Oh, my God. Time to kill is still massively too quick, uh, in my opinion. But it is. Um, okay. That gun seems a little bit overpowered. Uh. 
My initial thoughts are it's miles better than Modern Warfare 3, but let's be honest, guys. It's not difficult to be better than that trash game. It is by far, in my opinion, the worst in the series currently. Um, Double kill. Oh, whoa. Visual wise, it's still quite hard to see the enemy. Triggering scout pulse. Hostile shooter. Absolutely camping his ass off. Interesting. We're well, gonna try and go a little bit of a different route here. Oh my god. Yeah, the visibility is a little bit terrible. Um, Stay down. We may have to increase the brightness quite a bit. Uh, it's quite a, a dark game, really. We may have to up the sharpness as well. It doesn't seem as sharp as the last Black Ops game. Or the last Call of Duty game. Hostile shooter. Nice fucking try. Cast watch dog helo in my AO. Wow. The emphasis feels uh, a lot more akin to Modern Warfare 2, which is a good thing. Um, it's a little bit on the strong side, but nevertheless, it will please controller players. Profusely. Not liking this red dot one little bit though. It takes up way too much of my screen. Needs to be a little bit of a slower paced game also. Red clear. Target ID, punk. Why do I get the feeling they've spawned behind us here? Okay. Oh, got double bang. Give them a nudge. Got double banged, but then again, it is my first match of the day. Oh no, I've been assassinated. My first assassination. Oh, nice. You got done, mate. Thank you for saving me. This seems to be like back to this sort of three lane experience. Nice, good job guys, good job. Good fight, Crimson Mission Success. So what we're gonna be doing over the course of the video is checking in at each stage of my first evening. So make sure you stay tuned and we're gonna be sort of kicking in and editing out a lot of the fluff. But we're gonna be constantly checking back in, looking at the upgrades, looking at the uh, creator class and everything. We've got you covered here on the channel. 
And if it's not covered in this video, it surely will be covered in another. So make sure that you stay tuned in and make sure you subscribe. Ring the post notification bell with the all option. Give the video a like and drop me a comment. Graphic galore. Shh. Big, 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 big uh, props on the graphics. It's so much better than the beta or Modern Warfare 3. So we have just here. Level 2 here. Let her let's go. But we will be checking in over the course of the evening and showing the next part of the video. We'll probably be showing the creator class system. But that's been my first game and I hope you've enjoyed the content thus far. Covering Black Ops 6 here on the PC platform. Alright, so we're back for part 2 of today's video. Where we're going to be checking out the multiplayer loadouts we've got to level 4. So far, game's feeling pretty solid. Much better than the beta. We're going to be checking out the base loadout that you get at level 4. And what we can actually put on our class. So these are the guns that are... Well, they're not available as of yet. But will be available as we level up. We've got the XM4, which is your standard. Uh, that's not actually showing. It's showing the AK. There we go, the XM4. Which is basically your M4, the Call of Duty series, as you well know. We've got the AK-74 or the AK... Um, I don't know which variant of it is, but changed all the names uh, in recent years to avoid licensing issues. We've got the AK-74, which is basically your AK that you see in every COD. Uh, the assault rifle variant. We've got the Ames 85, which is looks a little bit like the Galil. We've got the GPR 91, which is an interesting one. Takes me back to a Black Ops 1. There was a gun in that game. I can't quite remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it was one of my favourite ARs. We've also got the Model L, uh, which looks kind of like a Galil, but it's more slow firing, so I'd say it's more like a sort of automatic FM Fal. Got the Goblin Mark II. No idea what this is going to be like. It's semi automatic so it could be sort of a variant of Mass. And the AS Val, which is a tried and tested fan favourite from Modern Warfare 1. Which I think a lot of people are going to be running long term. Within the SMGs, we've got the C9. Uh, no idea... What, what that gun is akin to. We've got the KS. So the C9 is a little bit like maybe the MP5 or a variant. We've got the KS, which I'm not entirely sure. The Tanto, which I've already played with. It's, it's a hard-hitting, slower-firing SMG. I'm kind of a fan of this. Uh, it feels like something a little bit different for a change. We've got the Bison PP, which is another fan favourite from all the Call of Duties. The Jack was absolutely ripping it up in the beta. I'm not a big fan of this gun. I think it's vastly overpowered. It's sort of a snub nose AK. A little bit too strong in my opinion. And the Compact 92, which I believe will sort of be sort of the end game MP5 variant gun. Uh, it's probably very similar to a C9. Better, fast fire rate, etc. Uh, I don't know if we can look at the stats on these. So they did say that they were changing this year to have um, similar damage across the board, but it does appear that they have still included headshot modifiers. So shooting for the head still will be the preferred way to play. But the stats look a lot more simplified and a little bit easier to digest. We've got two shotguns. LMGs, we've only got three. We've got sort of an XMG variant. These look very, very similar to the three men assault rifles, just the LMG variants. We have the new class, which is proving more and more popular each year, which is the Marksman rifle or sort of the um, BR battle rifle. Got the SWAT 556, Tarkov 762. The AEK973, which is going to be kind of a three-round burst DMR akin to the AK, but harder hitting. And we've got the DM10, which is sort of going to be the hybrid one between the snipers and the marksmen. Sniper rifles, we've got the Frost Line, which I believe in past years we called the KVD. We've got the... Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. LS32, I think. 
We've got the FVD, which is pretty standard in Black Ops games, and the LR762, which I think was the final unlock in Black Ops 1. I would say this game's a lot closer to the original Black Ops than any of the others. But they're the guns that are available. We do unlock these. Does it actually say what level we unlock them at? It's not actually saying. So we're probably going to make an XM4 here. Which we don't have. Uh, we do have a suppressor. Which in this game kind of feels... That it's kind of important. It keeps you off the map. Um, and in this game, with visibility being lower, in my opinion, um, it's going to be very beneficial. Also, you'll notice that near enough, none of the attachments have a negative value. So it's basically attachments are your flavor, your choice. Uh, there are really no drawbacks, and the simplification of the the attachments is a welcome change, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's something that needed. It kind of got a bit, a little bit crazy in Modern Warfare 3. Um, wasn't for me, personally. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Let me know in the comments below the video. We are going to be sticking on the, the base military camo. We're probably going to be sticking with the XM4 uh, long term. I'm generally a fan of the vanilla weapon. Uh, usually the M4 and whatnot. Uh, I'm a bit of a plain Jane when it comes to stuff like that. Still a little bit undecided to whether we are going to be um, rolling controller or mouse and keyboard for the long term. We are trying out both tonight. Um, so we don't have any of these unlock currently five so they are for different weapons sadly so we get the prismatic flex xm4 level five we get the Alterio otero red dot at level 15 we get the merlin mini which i think will be one of the more popular at level 25 35 the willis three times which is one of the more popular got from Modern Warfare 3. I forget the name of it, but it was very popular in Warzone. Uh, the Microdot, the Kepler Microplex, which is your standard sight back from COD 4. That's available on the AS Ballot Level 5. So I'm kind of getting the feeling that unlocks are going to be quite a lengthy unlocking procedure on this game. But nevertheless, we'll jump in a game here and we'll see how the XM4 performs with the attachments that you get at level 4 and see how it feels. We were very blessed today. We do have Barack Obama playing in our lobby. Quite amazing to see one of the former US presidents here on Call of Duty Black Ops 6. As you can see, Barack Obama. Not entirely sure if it's the real one. I'll let, uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. It looks like we might have joined mid-game here. Graphically though, and performance-wise, vastly, vastly superior to the beta. The maps are a little bit hard to navigate currently, and I really do not like the audio that is outside the map. Very distracting. I think that's what it's designed to do, personally. You can hear shots being fired. I think it's to deter people playing outside the outskirts of the maps. It's quite a clever tactic, realistically. Damn. Enemy scout post Time to Mark kill still him. seems absurdly fast. And play with that red dot on some guns. Unfortunately, like past Call of Duty titles. 
I mean, I do not understand how I've lost there. Interested awesome. aim you have there, fella. We'll just say that for now. Very interesting aim. These some people are trying to level up pistols already. It's kind of crazy. Unless they're sniping with a pistol. Sending stun. The audio is horrific. I'm not going to lie to you guys, the audio is probably the worst of any Call of Duty I've ever played. You, there is no positional audio. Don't be fooled by this new audio. That they've released. It is actually terrible. We're going to re-enable it here, but... Uh, It gets thrown off by so many little things. Marking target location. Breaking out rocket launcher. Just feel like I can't move here. Visibility is really poor. Uh, the audio quality is really bad. I think this game will lend to camping hell of a lot more than past renditions of Call of Duty. Eyes on enemy. Hostile long gun neutralized. I think a lot of people are going to be real. Are going to be riding a hell of a lot more on. Uh, Aim assist and camping on this Call of Duty. Personally, I feel... Oh, what a shot. Tried to get in the gun there. So, I mean, thus far... It feels a lot better than Modern Warfare 3. The amount of content that is currently available is a little bit on the lower side for a Call of Duty release, which I'm a little bit upset about. There's not massive amount of guns, and the new unlock system feels very convoluted. Only time... Only time will tell. The 3D audio is a little bit off-putting, especially with the noises. Tossing frag. I also feel that sometimes when you get a hit marker, it doesn't always show the correct direction. These are day one teething problems, and I will keep you all updated on uh, my thoughts and feelings moving forward. Performance wise though, very smooth. It does remind me so much of Black Ops 1. It's unreal actually. Especially apart from the Omni movement, but the way it kind of moves and stuff. Like, where am I getting shot from here? And again, shot in the back. doesn't appear to be a mountain system it kind of feels like you just sort of walk up stuff Tossing frag. it does kind of feel there's a lot of weapon sway as well kind of insane
You're falling behind, Crimson. But I will keep you updated throughout this video on what I feel. Oh my god. I mean, sometimes the hit red feels a little bit whiffy. I mean, it could be me. I don't have a red dot, so I could be missing the target here. The movement feels a lot more torn down from the beta. Which is kind of a welcome change, to be fair. I think the movement was a little bit... Was a little bit overtuned, in my opinion. But the audio outside the map needs disabling. It is... It is quite horrific, in my opinion. Is this an AS Val already? No, it can't be. So there you have it. I'm going to be chiming back in shortly as we unlock each gun. And uh, kind of showing off what's what. So far, my preferred method of playing is the controller. I think graphic great there are some issues with the audio but yet again like Let's i said it is day one but i'll be back shortly with an update on where we go here with the next set of unlocks all right so here we are ladies and gentlemen better back once again uh we are now level 10 we've finally unlocked the ak-74 so what we're going to be doing here is just uh giving it a quick go um Initial uh, findings with the audio. I have corrected it now. Uh, there was an issue with my headset. The audio is slightly improved. It's better than Modern Warfare 3. So I do apologize about that misinformation. Uh, it is slightly better than Modern Warfare 3. And the pay to win audio that people are indeed worried about uh, is actually available for free. Uh, it will only cost you money um, if you want to do the personalization part of the audio. If you just want to enable the default profile for the 3D audio, that is perfectly fine. So, we're going to be trying out the AK74 in this next game without attachments. I'm doing kill confirmed with Team Deathmatch. I know there's a lot of talk about the cheating epidemic that's currently upon us with the Call of Duty series. And I'm not going to lie, there has been some very suspicious players um, in the matches. Uh, very, very good uh, godlike players. A uh, little bit, little bit sus in my opinion. Uh, I do hope Microsoft step it up this year, and uh, we can start putting these cheaters to rest. You'll notice now as well. Uh, there is a console icon that no longer Oh, yeah, it's showing Xbox, but I'm not seeing any PlayStation markers in lobbies I do think that's something that Microsoft have done to sort of not push the PlayStation agenda um, As this is now their IP We are gonna be checking out Skyline here. This is the first time I've been on this map and the first time I'm trying out the AK the unlocks thus far have been quite slow but i am going to be covering a lot more content moving forward on black ops 6 my thoughts my feelings best settings optimization etc and what i feel uh the, well will be good for the community so if you are interested in any of that please make sure you are subscribed so we're going to run through this match and then we'll probably call it on video number one. Oh dear I do not understand how he's got across the map so quickly there. A little bit strange. Okay. 
level 27 already. Interesting. I just do not seem to be <laughs> getting any kills here. Kind of sad. We have finally got off the starting blocks here. Somebody trying to slide on some here. I am still struggling very, very harshly with the footstep audio. I do believe footsteps are far too quiet in this game. Um sometimes the emesis can be hit or miss as you saw there it could be the gun though also maybe a very attachment reliant gun i do feel that it pays to play a little bit slower on this call of duty i've just been shot by two people there unfortunately And it just seems to be one of them games at the moment where I'm just not getting any kills at all. We all have them. Uh, it's pretty disgusting, actually. Oh, finally. Oh. I just I got to reload. I got done again. Grenades, unfortunately, are very, very strong in this Call of Duty. Uh, unless you can throw them back, they are pretty much unavoidable. I mean, we are using the same gun here, and I just feel like perhaps a red dot could go a long way to improving my accuracy. Um, if we can equip one here... I'm not sure if we can okay we can actually here we go let's give the red dot a go Be nice if we could get out of spawn but there you go is what it is The red dot does seem to improve accuracy quite massively. I'm not sure if that's a stat base. If that's a stat base thing for the gun. Okay, interesting. Got outplayed. It would appear. One thing's for sure though, the game does run massively better on the day one drivers, on PC especially. We are going to be covering the game exclusively on PC unfortunately. I have decided to sell my PlayStation due to, oh that were a bad shot, due to the PS5 Pro in my opinion not being a massive value. But we are going to be doing... Uh, we are going to be doing loadouts and uh, gun reviews and stat videos and stuff like that. Moving forward with the launch to Warzone. If that's something that does indeed interest you. Uh, it's just, can't get used to this Omni movement. I feel like I'm sliding all over the show. And I am struggling very much with the audio. I'm going to be trying uh, several... Um, different 
um, reduce low end frequencies. I think the base cut may be a little bit better for pinpointing footsteps and whatnot. I literally did not even see that guy. I may have to change the enemy colour. I am struggling to pick people up here. But with the best reduction, I can, I can actually hear where people are. It seems to be no rhythm or rhyme to the spawns. I'm hoping s and is probably a little bit better. And maybe Warzone. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So that's my first sort of impressions rundown of Black Ops 6. Up to level 10. Unfortunately, the gameplay wasn't amazing. Um, but we'll get there. Uh, it's a little bit of a learning curve. And some of these players are actually really, really good. Nevertheless, if you have enjoyed today's content, comment, like, and subscribe. Send up in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this first look at Black Ops 6 retail release. And I'll see you guys in the next one.